Hello everybody, Andy here again. Well I watched a video earlier on by, I think it was Perry Urban, and uh, he was talking about, um, amongst other things, about how many videos that he'd taken down recently, he sort of reassessed his videos and taken them down, and got me thinking about that whole sort of topic. I've seen other people done videos before, or in, within their vlogs or videos, they've mentioned that they've sort of taken videos of theirs down. And that sort of posed a question. Now, do you take your old videos down? How many of yours have you still got up there? Are they all up there? Or do you sort of regularly sort of reevaluate and prune them a bit? Personally, uh, I don't. I think I've got 176 videos or some sort of fantastic figure like that that I've got up there. And that's every single video that I've ever made since I've been here on YouTube which is literally just over a year. Uh, the only video I did take down was, was just a silly one um, with my a new video, a new webcam that I got which was uh, using one of the silly features on it which made me look like a moose. I thought it was appropriate. Well I took that one down because it was just a 30 second messing about video. But every single video that I've made apart from that is on YouTube and is still on YouTube and I intend to keep it on YouTube. Um, why am I doing that? Because um, a lot of people probably don't. Um, a lot of my early videos especially were responses to other people. Now some of the videos that I responded to might not still be there, I haven't checked I must admit but uh, you know as I said people reevaluate them. Um, and also some of the subjects that possibly was discussed in those videos might have moved on, they might not be so relevant now. But I, I view it as a sort of a, a personal history. My first year on YouTube, and it is my first year on YouTube, every single moment of my sort of a YouTube history is on there, I suppose, in video format anyway. And I'd like to think that if I watched all of those videos, and <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily advise it, because it would take quite a long time, that you could see the sort of uh, path that I've taken since I've been on YouTube, the sort of development that I feel that I've probably made uh, either in video make video making, the topics that I've discussed, confidence levels, all those sort of things that I've discussed in other videos. Um, I do sometimes sort of look back at videos if I occasionally get comments on um, some of my early videos and as I said I still do that. Sometimes you get a new subscriber and they'll trawl back and maybe pick the odd video out uh, and sort of have a look at it or I refer to an older video in a new video and uh, people might view that one as well. Um, and then that sort of forces you to go back and have a look. I look at, I do look at them and some of them, yes, they're obviously a lot that are far better than others, but I'm still pretty proud of a lot of the early ones. I was discussing sort of varied subjects as I do now, even back then, way back in um, August uh, of 2006. Obviously I've moved on, but as I said, that's one of the things that that sort of YouTube history is such a, uh, shows it shows my development there. It's, it's sort of a, a historical record, if you want to call it that. So I'm interested to know what you do if if you do sort of reevaluate them, if you take videos down, and if you do take them down, why do you take them down? I know that some people take videos down. They make them on the spur of the moment, maybe, and they look them look at them in the sort of a cold light of day, and they think. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have posted that one and they sort of quickly whip that video off. I can understand that, they, you know, they might have had a few drinks or, you know, whatever. As I said, they might have been annoyed and it's a response video. That's a bit of a rant and it maybe went a bit too far. That sort of thing I t do uh, understand. But uh, uh, otherwise, I think, well, why not leave it up there? Leave your mistakes up there. Why not? It's part of uh, your YouTube life. Um, as I said, I look at them. I'm interested enough if any of my subscribers or anybody watching this does actually occasionally look back at some of my early videos. I do it with other people. I must admit, especially to people that I subscribe to, uh, I'm a new subscriber to, I will sort of obviously watch the newer videos, the ones that I've subscribed for, I suppose, but I will go back and have a look at uh, some of the early ones as well. And it's worth watching because, as I said, you see their developments. So uh, be proud of your mistakes. That's something I've always done. One thing I, I do try not to do is too much editing, especially on these vlogs. Obviously, some other videos have to be edited, but uh, generally my vlogs are pretty much one take, uh, and it's all one take. There's no editing in there at all, unless I can absolutely avoid it. But anyway, I just thought I'd say that quickly. This is one of those subjects that are pretty much off the top of my head. So, do you take your videos down? Do you sort of reevaluate them occasionally? Have a look, trawl through, uh, have a bit of a pruning session or something. And if you do, why do you do that? I'd be interested to know, as I said, I don't, and if you don't, why not? Do you feel the same way as me? Or do you think that I've been damn stupid leaving all those sort of uh, <laughs> videos up there for 
potential ridicule. As I said, I watch some of them, and even they make me sort of uh, sit back occasionally. But I think, well, no, let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Let's be proud of your mistakes. Let's let's keep them all up there for people to see. Anyway, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.